let's do something interesting today. Today, we're going to go over the number one question I get regarding greenhouses, which is how to cool your greenhouse. Everybody seems to email me questions about this. And although there's all kinds of ways you can cool your greenhouse, Simple Tech means that we got to look at the most affordable, simple ways to do it. So outside of opening up a window and opening the door and maybe adding a fan, the cheapest way that you can cool your greenhouse is with a shade cloth or a shade net. These aren't that expensive. And shade nets come in different percentage amounts, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent. And that means they block out the sunlight, but they don't block it all out. They only block out a percentage of the sunlight, which reduces the heat. Now think about it. If you're outside in the direct sun cooking away, how do you reduce the heat without air conditioning? You step into the shade. But plants don't grow in the dark. So you need a percentage of the light to come through, just not all of it. That's where shade cloths come in. Shade cloths will give you a percentage of that light. And by reducing the amount of light, it also reduces the amount of heat. Because for every percentage of good growing light, there's also heat that comes in. The more we can reduce that heat, the better the situation we are for cooling. But we still need light to grow. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And we have piles of other videos on greenhouses and growing. You should check out after watching this one. Specifically, we have videos on geothermal cooling. We have videos on swamp coolers. We have videos on fans and venting and other things that you can actually look at. But this video on greenhouse shade cloths is the cheapest way you can look at cooling your greenhouse quickly. So if you get a chance, hit that like and subscribe button if you like this content or if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. So shade cloths or shade nets, where do you buy them? Well, they're all over the place. I mean, netting is not something that's really difficult to buy and it's not expensive. You can go to your local stores like Home Depot or I don't know what you have in your area, garden mega centers or greenhouse mega centers or garden centers. And they're going to sell shade cloths with different percentages, which will reduce your heat and reduce your light by that amount. You can also buy this stuff online. You can buy it online from Amazon, from eBay, or you can go direct to the source and go right to Alibaba. Because at the end of the day, when you think about it, the majority of this kind of stuff is made in China. And whether you like China or not or want to deal local, that's where it's coming from. And that's where you're going to get it from in the end. So either you're going to buy it direct from China or you're going to pay a middleman who's not going to tell you it's coming from China. So here's the beautiful thing about shade cloths. They work everywhere. It doesn't matter what your humidity is. And humidity is the number one question that I get regarding cooling. People contact me all the time saying, I'm in a high humidity area, whether it's the tropics or the Middle East or... Australia and the humidity is 70, 80, 90 percent. So a swamp cooler isn't going to work. What do I do? I, I don't have the money to pay for the electricity on air conditioning. Guess what? A shade cloth will work. Is it going to drop your temperature drastically? No. A shade cloth will not drop your temperature below what the ambient air temperature is. But often the ambient air temperature is enough for your plants to survive. Where things get deadly in a greenhouse is when the inside of a greenhouse is 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 or 50 degrees Celsius. That's not good. But if it's 30, 35 degrees Celsius outside and you can keep the inside of your greenhouse maybe a couple of degrees above that with some vents and some fans and a shade cloth, that works. And that isn't going to break the bank. That's going to be well within your budget and something that you should seriously consider if you're growing for profit. So how does a shade cloth work? Well, if you look at the pictures here, it lets in a percentage of the light. And they use different materials. Some of them use dark materials that will actually absorb the sun. And maybe this keeps the heat outside. I'm not actually sure how that works, but it does reduce the heat. Much like a shade does in your house or a curtain. 
other ones will re have reflective material and they'll reflect the sunlight away, which once again, isn't going to allow a percentage of the heat through. You do need some light though. Plants got to have sunlight to grow. They don't grow in full shade and they don't grow in the dark. They don't like reflected light. Plants want to look at the sun. Leaves want to get direct photosynthesis from the sun because that's how they evolved. So if we're going to use shade cloths, my recommendation is don't use massive percentages. Look at 20, 30, 40% and don't go a lot above that. Shade cloths are not about dropping your temperature drastically. They're about dropping it a few degrees and using your vents and fans as well to try and get your greenhouse as close as possible to the ambient outside air temperature. So there's two types of shade cloths that are used for greenhouses. The first one is an actual netting greenhouse. It doesn't have any glass or polycarbonate or plastic in it. It's just the shade. And this helps in a couple of ways. Of course, it reduces heat. It also allows air and wind to flow directly through the shade cloth, which is in fact, another word that we could use is a screen. So the inside of that kind of greenhouse is gonna be very close to the actual outside air temperature. The other kind of shade cloth is something that you're gonna stretch over top of your glass, plastic, or poly greenhouse to reduce the light and help to reduce the heat. I mean, the, the purpose of a shade cloth isn't really to reduce the light, it's to reduce the heat coming from the light. These are actually fairly simple to install. You just stretch them over and tie them down however you can. And uh, it's a set it and forget it type system, but it's not something you wanna necessarily keep up all year. You just want it up in the hot seasons. As soon as you get back down to an area where your vents and fans are gonna work, you wanna take the shade cloth off because the more light you got, the more your plants are going to grow. But it's a trade-off versus heat. If you cook your plants, they're not going to grow. This is all about balance. So to summarize, shade cloths work, but they're not going to get you below the ambient air temperature. Mind you, plants usually will grow in your ambient air temperature. I mean, if you're looking at 35, even up to 40, your plants, most plants are still going to grow as long as you can keep the inside of your greenhouse to that temperature. If you're in an area where you're getting above 40 degrees Celsius, you got to look at some other cooling methods. If you're going to grow most plants, um, that's going to be too hot to get optimum production. There are plants that thrive in those temperatures, but a lot of the big dollar crops are going to need a temperature range under 35, 40 degrees Celsius if they're going to produce enough produce to make you serious money. So there's limits to shade cloths, but a shade cloth after vents and fans is your next step before you move towards a swamp cooler or air conditioning or some sort of geothermal heat, cooling, heating and cooling method that can get you down even more. We have other videos on this. Feel free to check them out in our archive. But shade cloths, this is something you need to look at as a first step in cooling your greenhouse. That's affordable and easy to implement. See you in the next video. Coco heard that all the good deals were in China, so she decided to dig her way directly there to get all the bargains that she could. Here's a little footage of her attempt to go that way. <laughs>